Good morning, Good morning Discover Life Church. Church. Our goal was to be in sync, and we did we were amazing. Close. We, were we were close, close, close enough. <laughs> we're excited to see you this morning. We're excited that you're joining us online yes. on this beautiful Sunday morning. Is it beautiful because it's raining? Hey, <laughs> I see it as even when it's raining, it's beautiful because then we know our, our plants and our crops are getting the water that they yes. need, and then we that means we get yeah. more food. And hey. it washes the pollen away. Hey, so there's a bright side to everything. Free car wash. Yeah. <laughs> but April is already like more than halfway there. April 21st. Mm. And we can look back and still see God's faithfulness and his love and just his presence and how he has been in our midst consistently every Sunday morning. Absolutely. Great things are happening here at Discover Life Church. So we are so happy you were able to tune in and join with us this morning. Before we get into worship, we got some things going on that we want to talk about with you guys. Yeah, yeah. So what's uh, what's first on the docket here? The first thing that I know is something that's very dear to our heart because one of our core values is mission. We are missional and we get to be missional to the women in our community and that's through our diaper closet. And we are so excited because we got to open it last month. We started last month and we were opening, I think, every Saturday, not every Saturday, but some Saturdays. Yeah. But the beautiful thing is we're meeting the needs of moms in Lawrenceville. And what that means is it's a continuous need. And so, yes, we had a whole season where we were saying, hey, donate, donate. Well, it doesn't stop. Actually, now more, we yes. need more donations yes. because we've had moms come in. We've been able to minister and pray for them. Yeah. And we want to continue to do that. And that happens through you. Yes. You. So if you have any uh, sanitary items, diapers, even baby clothes, anything you have, as long as you're, you know it's going to meet the need of a mom or a child, we're, yeah. we're, we're receiving of it. So. Yeah. We thank you for your generosity ahead of time, but bring those diapers, bring those wipes, and let's continue serving the women in Lawrenceville. Yeah. Um, also, speaking of women, we do something exciting once a month here at Discover Life Church. We have coffee and conversation. Yes. Where all the ladies of the church get together. You are welcome, whether you're a member or not. We would love to see you. And this coming Friday, the 26th, is a really special one. Why is it so special? Because we are having our coffee and conversation pop-up shops. Pop-up. Pop-up. Wait, are you going to be? Actually, eight. Hey, yeah, <laughs> I will be. I will be. I will yes. be. And so we have one thing that we're blessed with at DLC is we have women that have businesses. Thankfully, I get to be part of those women. And we're able to just share what we have and and get to purchase some items, but also learn more because you never know what people are doing outside the Sunday morning. So That's it's nice true. to see what they're doing and how we can also share with our friends and our loved ones. Like, yes. hey, I know someone that does this and we can keep building the kingdom together. So plan to be there this coming Friday, the 26th, Time. at 7 o'clock, yes. 7 p.m. So, yes. And then I guess we should mention, like, what the men have coming up. Yeah, it's I mean, not we for can. us, but yeah. we have a really great group of guys. <laughs> Um, that so. are really enjoying being in community and really enjoying growing in the Lord together. Yeah. And so they have a fish fry coming up. Yeah, don't say it like that, though. Man, guess what? Yeah. You have Man. a fish fry coming up. Woo-hoo. Hey, hey. <laughs> that way, you know, they don't feel left out. And that's True. something that in the past year, just being at DLC and looking at how we have been intentional with our men yeah. and how they are building a community and we were praying on Wednesday, and one of the things that was shared is like when the father in a household is safe and comes to the Lord, there's a 97% chance that the whole family Come is safe. On. And so we're intentional. Yes, it's a fish fry, yeah. but it's beyond a yeah. fish fry. It's a time to come together and have fellowship. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So for the men, it's going to be May 10th. So you have a little bit of time because I think they want you to sign up and register ahead yes. of time. They want to know, they want to have a head count and they want to yeah. know how many fishes how many to fish fry. To fry. <laughs> Yes. But. So lots of exciting stuff coming up. Um, this morning, though, we're going to hear from Pastor Adrian. Woo, woo, woo. So right after worship, we're going to turn it over to her. So you guys tune in and get ready for the Lord to show up. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you for joining us. And now it's time for worship. Let's do it. Let's Good go. morning, Yay. Discover Life Church. It is a great day to be in the Lord's house this morning. And we are so glad that you made the decision to join us this morning. I'll praise in the valley, praise on the mountain. I'll praise when I'm sure, I'll praise when I'm doubting. I'll praise when I'm numbered, praise when surrounded. Cause praise is the waters, my enemy. 
sovereign. Praise cause you reign. Praise cause you rose and defeated the grave. Praise cause you're faithful. Praise cause you're true. Praise cause there's nobody greater than you. Praise cause you're sovereign. Praise cause you reign. Praise cause you rose and defeated the grave. Oh, praise cause you're faithful. Praise cause you're true. Praise cause there's nobody greater than you. desire, Lord God, and just to think you can love us more than we could ever love you, because you are amazing. We praise you, Father God, with our voice. We lift our voice. We raise our voices unto you, Lord God, because you are worthy. There is none like you, my God.
que eu amo. Father, we thank you for who you are today, God. And we praise you for who you are, God. If you never do another thing, God, you've already done enough. So God, today we come and we give you our offering. We come in with a sacrifice of praise, oh God. Hallelujah, we came to bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Eternity cannot contain you. Your words continue to echo. Your love shatters the darkness. All things bow down before you. Perfection tries to match you. Creation of 
want you to be enthroned today, God. Hallelujah. God, we came to praise you. We came to tell you how good you are, Lord. In spite of our circumstance, despite how we feel, Lord, we came to let you know, God, that you're worthy. You're worthy of the praise and the honor, God. You're a great God and you deserve a great praise. Hallelujah. It's not about how we feel today. It's not about what we go through. Hallelujah. But he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. All things bow down before you. Come on, let's bow before him. Hallelujah. All things. And he he keeps going. He says, be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all the day, glad in the soul of your servant. For to you, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving. And now we've shifted because he's gone from his circumstances to who God is to him. And when you go from your circumstances to who God is to you, everything begins to shift. So we keep reading. This is why we read the Psalms, because we keep reading. He says, you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call upon you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my plea for grace. In the day of my trouble, I call upon you, and you answer me. He says, there is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. And then he says, all the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord. He says, everyone's going to bow down to you, God. Because you are good, we are all going to bow down to you, God. For you are great and you do wondrous things. You alone are God. And when we come together to worship, this is the heart of what we do. We recognize. We recognize that we have circumstances. Is there anybody in here this morning with a circumstance? 
and we can we can moan about it and gripe about it all day long and that can do a little bit it can maybe make you feel good for a minute but what's going to happen is the circumstances are going to come back and tap you on the shoulder and remind you of the circumstances so that's why david says once you've recognized your circumstances we shift to who god is and that is the heart of corporate worship so we come together as as people who worship and we stand in awe of who god is and we begin to sing and we begin to praise because when we recognize that all things bow down to him that he is the living god that he is sovereign and true then our circumstances have nothing on what we are going to do so can you stand with me this morning can you worship with me this morning can we begin to worship and acknowledge that god is beyond our circumstances I was sharing in in our pre-service meeting this morning, I was sharing that I believe that, that this morning that there is an assignment here. And part of our assignment is to come with an expectancy that God is going to do something beyond why we gather on Sunday mornings. In the Western culture, we have this idea that we, we got to get to church on Sunday because Monday through Saturday are hell. But I'm starting to understand that when we show up with an expectancy, when we know that God is going to do beyond what we thought that he was going to do, erase from your mind what you thought God was going to do this morning and begin to think of the needs that you were expecting God to meet. Begin to think of, of the physical healings that you desire in your body. Because I believe that this morning that there's more than just a word that's going to come forth. And there is a word that's going to come forth. But I believe that if you're in here this morning and you have mental illness that you've been struggling with. If you have physical pain that you've been struggling with. I believe that God is here this morning. The presence of God is here and he wants to heal you. I believe that the presence of God is here and he wants to heal you. There it is. And when we have that expectancy, when we show up knowing that there is going to be a move, then all of a sudden we believe that things are going to happen outside of how we imagined it. Now, expectancy comes with action, right? When you expect something, when the light is yellow, you expect it to turn red, yeah? So if you're a responsible adult when the light is yellow, <laughs> you begin to put on the brake, right? Right? Because you have an expectancy that that light is going to turn red and you don't want to get a ticket or hit or hurt somebody else. So if we show up with an expectancy that God is going to move, then there's an action that might be required from you this morning. So maybe you're here this morning and, and your anxiety has been sky high through the roof. That's my story. I showed up on a Sunday morning not knowing what to expect with anxiety that I thought was going to kill me. And in a moment, my anxiety was healed. And it's been seven years, seven years since I've had a panic attack. 
Now, if you've got physical pain, anxiety, mental illness of any kind, and you've been really believing for something to happen, for God to do something in your life, then I implore you to get down to the altars right now. Because I want to have a moment of prayer at the altars where if you are believing for healing of any kind, I cannot be more clear. If there is anguish in your mind of any kind, we've got this stigma in America that mental illness cannot be healed by God. And I'm here to tell you right now that that could not be farther from the truth. So I would implore you, physical, um, uh, emotional, mental pain, anxiety that needs to be healed, please come to the front and let's begin to pray. If you're on the prayer team, can we begin to just come forward and lay hands on some people and let's pray. Let's believe for the miracles. Yes, we got a, we got, we got a prophetic word a couple months ago in our prayer service. That there is an open door in Discover Life Church, but the thing about open doors, church, is you have to walk through them. You have to walk through them. So if you're still sitting in your seat and you have a need this morning, it might be mental illness, it might be physical, it might just be emotional. I implore you, walk through the open door. Walk to the altar. Yes, it's an act of bravery. Yes, it's an act of vulnerability. But basically what you're saying is, God, I know you can supply every need according to your riches and glory. He is the supplier of every need this morning. Exodus 34 says that he is the Lord, the Lord, a God who is gracious More, and Lord. merciful. More, He's Lord. kind. He's More, full of Lord. compassion. More, and he Lord. forgives. He forgives. He forgives. He has an open door for you this morning. He has an open door for you this morning. Discover Life Church. All things bow down to you, Father. All things bow down. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Yes, Lord, you're here. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.
Lord. together. Let's sing that together this morning. I believe that, that there are miracles happening right now, even as we speak. But I'm also of the belief that, that miracles are happening throughout the entire week in each and everybody's lives on a day to day. And, and there's no way that we can know about all of those things. But I do know that we've set up a baptismal here for anybody in this house who, who maybe woke up this week or woke up this morning and thought, I need to start anew. There's something in me. I want to publicly declare that my life has changed, that Jesus has done something different. And because of that, we have the baptismal set up. And we will continue to have them set up, I think, for a little while. But if this morning you think that you might want to get baptized, here's what we'll do. Um, we, I'm sure we've got everything figured out. We've got towels here, and it's going to be pretty nice out, so you know you'll dry off. So if you want to get baptized, you can either line up against that wall right now, or we will do something at the end of service for anybody who wants to. And I feel like, I feel like God's not done. And I don't mean like with worship. What I'm hearing is that there are people in this room today who woke up thinking that God is done with me, that I've gone too far, that I've done too much, that I haven't said enough, and I'm here to tell you this morning that God is not done with you. You're not too far gone. You haven't done too much. There is redemption. There is restoration. There is healing. There is power in the name of Jesus. So can we stand and can we worship one more time and declare that he is the Lord of Lords?
thank you, Father, for your presence here. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord, that thank it God. says that you abide, Father. Yes. You, you abide in our praises. So, Father, we give you all the praise and the glory for what Thank has happened God. here this morning, Thank you, God. Father. For any words that have come forth from your spirit, Father, we Thank just you, pray God. that you seal those deep within us, Father. That we take those to your word and we test them, Father. That we root our identities firmly in you, Father. We are who you say we are. Come on. We are who you say Come we on. are. Come on. We are not broken. We are not abandoned. We are not destroyed by our circumstances but we are children of the most high king and that means something yes, it means God. that we have authority over demonic strongholds and principalities it means that we have the power to stop on our enemy it means that the snake is underneath our feet father because it says father that you are going to crush him with your heel father and so we have that dominion and authority because of who you are father it is not on us Father, but it's in you, Father, that our hope is found, that our joy is found, that our identity is found, that our peace is found. Father, all things are found in you and through you. And so, Father, we thank you for continuing to confirm that to the hearts of Discover Life Church, Father. We don't want anyone to come through those doors and leave here not knowing who they are, Father, that they were created for you, they were created to you, they were created through you. And so, Father, we thank you for continuing to remind us and continuing to bring us to the altar of your presence to bring us to your word father to bring us to reminders of who you are and who we are in you so father we just thank you father we thank you we thank you i thank you for these people i thank you for these people lord and as we continue our sunday father that we just continue in this atmosphere of praise and worship and all there is truly no one like you there is truly no one like you we're here for you we're not here for ourselves and so father just hold us in that place this morning just tenderize our hearts towards you tenderize our hearts towards what you want to speak to us today through what happens here in the altar, Father, and also through through the preaching of your word. We just give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. It all belongs to you anyway, and so we give back what is yours, and we don't hold any of it for ourselves, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen! Can I hear you guys just give God one more shout? One more shout if he's done something great in your life, if he's done something miraculous in your life, if you believe that he's a healer yesterday, today, and tomorrow, if you believe that he's going to continue to heal, continue to move, continue to do great things, can we just shout for God one more time? Yay! He is so good. He loves you so much. And it breaks my heart that there are people that can walk in or walk this earth with condemnation or guilt on them, knowing that there is a God who loves them so much. So our prayer is that, that this morning that nobody in here feels that way because there's no condemnation in Christ, none. So good morning, my name is Pastor Andy. I'm one of the executive pastors here along with my beautiful tall wife. She's wearing um, her heels today, so, so she's way taller than me. Um, go ahead, introduce yourself, baby. Hi, my name is Andrea. We want to thank you so much for being here this morning and just worshiping the Lord with us. And Discover Life Church is a place where we want you to discover life in Jesus. And part of that is living a life of worship to him in music, in our lifestyle, in everything that we do. So we thank you for being here this morning. So what I'd love for you guys to do right now is the house lights are going to come up and I want you guys to um, greet somebody, maybe somebody you don't know that well. Tell them a good morning. Say, God is in this place. God is in this place. Take 90 seconds.
Good morning again, Discover Life Church. Y'all are having fun this morning because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. And that's liberty to be kind and joyful and welcoming with each other. And so I'm just so happy to be in the house this morning and I'm happy you're here too. Um, I have a tiny bit of encouragement. I promise I'm not gonna preach Adrian. I'm gonna take two minutes, okay? Okay, so this morning I'm driving in my car and my kids came to church early with my husband. So I had alone time, yes. All the mamas out there know what I'm talking about. So I got to listen to my worship music in the car. I didn't have to listen to this, you know, 2024 worship music. Nothing wrong with 2024 worship music, but sometimes, you know, if you're in your 40s, you need to put on those 90s hits, right? All right. And so I was jamming, and some people are going to laugh at me because then um, Jars of Clay came on. <laughs> and it was Love Song for a Savior. And the lyrics are, I want to fall in love with you. I want to fall in love with you. And so for some of you out there that this morning, you didn't feel the Holy Spirit tug on your heart during that worship. Maybe you felt like, I, I can't worship the Lord because I'm not in that place. That's not my season. That's not where I am right now. I just want to encourage you that it takes God to love God. It takes God to love God. So if you pray that prayer, Lord, I want to fall in love with you. It says that he gives us the desires of our heart that is according to his will. So you just pray that prayer. Lord, I want to fall in love with you. I want to fall more in love with you. And he's going to meet you there. And he's going to show you something. And in that, you're going to love him more. Because the more you know him, the more you love him. I promise you guys, I've been on this journey for a few years now. And I, I know him better now. And I love him more now than I ever have. And I truly know that there is nothing good apart from him. And I don't know if I could say that 10 or 15 years ago. I thought, well, maybe there's good in something else. But no, it's it's only Jesus. It's only Jesus. So thank you guys for being here this morning. If you're our guest, thank you so much for being here. Even if you're not in the house this morning and you're watching online and you're checking us out, we want to say thank you. We have a connect card. If you're in person, it's in the seat back pocket in front of you. Or if you are in the front row, it's behind you. And this is just a card where we get to know a little bit more about you and we can say thank you for being here. So if you are joining us online, you're not left out, you can go to dlc.live, click the little connect tab on the side there and we will send you a gift. If you're in house and you fill this out, you can just raise your hand up in the air before we start our message today and an usher will come and find you and um, they'll give you a gift. So who who doesn't like gifts, right? Everybody likes gifts. So we thank you so much for being here today. And now we have some announcements of what's coming up at DLC. Oh, I'm a stroke. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Wow, what a powerful time of worship. All right. So my name is Noah Norton. I am part of the Timothy team here. And, and my name is Vivian Haney. I also serve here on the Timothy team. Yeah, so we just want to tell you a couple things about what we got going on. So Yeah, we got exciting we stuff coming up. So first thing is first, as some of you may know, we have a diaper closet that is helping meet the needs of just the women and the families in the Lawrenceville area. So... Pastor Andrea said it's been such a hit. We've been able to minister to some families, but we do need more diapers. So we are almost out of size three. So just if you're out shopping, if the Lord puts it on your heart, we would love for you just to give to that. And then we also, for all the Amazon shoppers out there, this week, actually it's live now, if you go to discoverlifeatl.com slash diaper closet, we have an Amazon wish list that you can just purchase and it'll send here immediately. So I think that's awesome, don't you yeah, think? Yeah, it is awesome. <laughs> and look, guys, especially fathers, you understand how important all this stuff is for mm -hmm. your kids. So why not bless as well other families? Absolutely. So yeah. it's, not just for, it's not just for women. Absolutely Men can not. also donate. 
Yes. So yeah. that's exciting. So. so what do we have next? Next for all the women in the house. This Friday, we are having our coffee and conversations. But this Friday, we're actually going to be meeting in the church office. So when you come, don't come in here. Just go to the church office, which is right next door. And we're going to have really exciting stuff coming up. We're going to have our women-owned businesses pop up. So if you know Glory, Glory's going to have an amazing pop up there. Miss Carmen always does an incredible incredible job and many others. So I'm super excited for that. Yeah, it's awesome. And where are all of the men at? <laughs> thank you. Thank oh, you. So much more yeah, enthusiasm. <laughs> all right. So May 10th, starting at seven o'clock, it's a Friday. We have our Woo-hoo. fish fry. Yeah. So I'm told that there's going to be fried fish, fried chicken, whatever you can fry, we will probably try to do that. Uh, so it is a $20 okay. registration ahead of time, but if you pay at the door, it's going to be $30, and you can register at discoverlifeatl.com slash fishfry. Yeah, it's right. going to be awesome for men. Men, bring your kids. Your cousins. Sons, yeah, everyone. Friends, anybody, <laughs> all people, all people. It's going to be an incredible time. That's all the announcements we have. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, it's time for our tithes and offering. That's really exciting. So we are a house of worship and a house of praise, not only DLC, but also us individually. And as a continued way of praise and worship is our tithes and offering. In Proverbs 3, 5, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make your paths straight. Um, And so you say, what does that have to do with Giving, everything, has to do everything and all that we do. Let us not think about, oh, I need to do this, I need to do that. Let's not try to figure things out so that we can maybe give to God. But let's have God in the forefront of our minds and in our hearts and just give to him what he deserves and so much more. Let's give him not only the tithes but also an offering of our time, our money, our talents, and everything we have because he is worthy to be praised. So here at DLC, we have four ways of giving. Uh, We have at the giving kiosk in the back, if you want to write a check or give cash, there's an envelope in front of you. Uh, Fill that out, put that in, and put in the kiosk in the back um, at the end of service. We can also give online if you go to the tab to give and you just put in some information. And then text to give, 84321. If it's your first time doing that, you might have to do a little bit of a setup, uh, but just make sure there are a lot of Discover Life churches in this wonderful area, in the Latin and Greta metro area. So just make sure it's the one in Lawrenceville. And also DLC app, which is the best way to do it because once you're in, you're signed in, you're locked in, and your information is in there. All you have to do is just hit the give button. So thank you very much for um, partnering with Discover Life in impacting Lawrenceville and the surrounding area. So let's pray. Lord, I thank you so much, Father God, for your presence. I thank you for your word that we could stand firm on who you are and on your promises, Lord. And we give you, Father God, our tithes and our offering as a recognition of who you are, recognition of your promises, and a recognition that we know that you are God. Bless everyone that gives, Lord. Multiply it, overflowing in their lives, Lord. I just thank you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, Discover Life Church. Good morning, Discover Life Church. We're currently here at uh, St. Peter's Basilica. Uh, built in 1506, incredible. finished in 1629. It took 120 years wow. to build wow. this. And if y'all notice, all of that gold up there is actually real gold. It's real gold. That's yeah. real gold, guys. This is the flagship basilica of the Catholic Church. Uh, when we got here, the Pope was talking, and uh, he actually was doing like a mass. He was yeah, doing a blessing yeah. and everything. So. We couldn't get in for a long time, but gosh, so guys, what he, an incredible. So he called my name. He said, "Hey, Pastor Manny, you want to come?" Pre-? I'm teasing. I'm teasing. It was like thirty thousand people present. E- easily thirty thousand, uh, not more. And he spoke outside. Yeah, and it, was, so, it was really cool, guys. So, anyways, let's give you a quick uh, rundown of what's happened this week. Oh my goodness, we had an incredible time here at Inspire Italy. We had several ladies show up. I mean, I think the last count. I can't remember what was it, maybe 
10 or 12, it was a little bit, it was a smaller event. So I would say what, it was about 10 to 12 that ended up giving their hearts to, to Jesus for the very first time. That's good for Europe. Several of the guys, this is Europe, 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 Europe. And so several of them were actually filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues immediately. Not only that, but this inspire, unlike several others, healings. I meant miraculous healings yes. begin to take place. The moment Signs we began wonder, to prepare, prayer, prayer for healings, we had one person at the very same time that we started to pray for this healing, we had a mom call her son who was in the service and say that she had just gone back to her doctor and she was totally cancer free at the very same moment. So guys, God is doing something all over the earth and DLC, you're a part of it. So thank you for giving to Inspire. And and, and thank you for giving your pastors freedom yes. to do what God's called them, yes. to, called us, us to do, to do yep. all over the world. Yes. Uh, so to, Tuesday, nope, Tuesday. We, we get on a plane, we head over to <laughs> Iceland, to Iceland yes. and we do it all over we again. Start it all over again. But thank you so much. Yes. I believe uh, Pastor Adrian's got a powerful word Amen. for you Amen. this morning. Keep it going. Keep the fire, going, fire burning at yes. DLC. And just know, you got to get there. Yes. And it is necessary. Yes for you to be the person that God's called yes. you to be. Well, and you, it's necessary to be present in his presence because in his presence is where expectation builds and that's where miracles, signs, wonders, family salvations, guys, all of this takes place in his presence, but you don't know unless you're there. Absolutely. Then, we love you very much, we guys. guys. We miss you dearly. Miss you. Uh, we get updates constantly from the pastors and uh, of Andy and Andrea <laughs> and, and, and our team. I love you guys. Love y'all. Bye-bye.